hi guys in this video we will be uh, teaching you how to use um, the with material jQuery so in our previous discussion we discussed about the two dot two snapshot so we will be requiring it um, okay so let's go to the repository itself so this is the with material jQuery repository it was hosted in github so okay so let's go now to the IntelliJ so um, this is the previous project that we've um, did last time so in this example uh, you just want to make sure that you're, you you are using the grid material basic with jQuery so meaning uh, we can run any jQuery command into our uh, grid application so using Java so here we are on the home view so you will just need to, to follow the instructions carefully so with our created application uh, there is a home view there so what you need to do is just to uh, create a simple panel right and then uh, you just need to in inject it directly to the uh, mark as a, as a ui field okay so um on this state we have the the panel to be injected the dom element so what we need to do is just to to what the good is to to make it as a jQuery element in order for us to access its um, DOM tree. So, for example, this one. So we have the element there, and then you just need to import the static uh, grid material jQuery. So the dollar sign. And then we can just call panel that get element. So meaning in this state we can um, run any jQuery command into this element. We can trigger the CSS. We can also append or uh, add an event listener to it. So what we can do now is just basic stuff. So maybe we can just change the width of it to have a uh, hundred pixel. And also, uh, we can also do a height. Okay, height to one hundred pixel. Right. Okay. Uh, on this state, uh, we have. Um, a rectangle uh, shape and also we can just call also background color just to make it visible okay so we can just call it red okay so once we go to the application and then refresh our application so you will be seeing the element there so that has a background color of red and also what you can do also for this element is you can register any kind of handler so we can call click for example and then we can just provide the what it is event handler there so maybe we can just uh, turn the background color so if you can call css um background color to blue for example Okay, so um, we identify the jQuery element to be translated into this plain jQuery syntax. So now we can just refresh the page and then if I click it, it will turn to blue. So that's how you uh, use the jQuery, our grid material jQuery as a wrapper and then you can execute any jQuery syntax or jQuery commands. So next thing that we need to discuss is how we can alter its content so on jQuery there's a function called append so meaning you can append any kind of element into this um, uh, panel so what we can just do is maybe uh, it should be interesting if we can create an icon so it's a material icon right so we can go uh, an icon type of uh, polymer and then instead of adding this directly so maybe we can just alter it a different way so what we can just do is just do uh, maybe uh, icon append right then we can just append the icon that get element so it means that um in reality maybe we, i can just show you too so if we refresh the page and then you see that the icon is there so it's easy to manipulate you see the jQuery so there are two things to consider so first um, 
if you want to use a plain um, GMD processing of the elements and the widgets so you can just do it and also for the jQuery element so if you want to create your own element then you can just open it easily okay thank you very much for watching this video